Number 10. Early drafts of the Beetlejuice script portrayed a darker and more sinister tone compared to the comedic atmosphere of the final film. In these versions, Beetlejuice was depicted as a winged demon and the Maitland's deaths were more graphic. Additionally, the Dietz family's storyline was considerably darker, with themes of infidelity and suicide being more prominent. Director Tim Burton and screenwriters Michael McDowell and Warren Scarron later reworked the script to infuse it with more humor and eccentricity, resulting in the iconic film we know today. Number 9. Beetlejuice makeup artists V. E. Neal, Steve Laporte, and Robert Short won the 1989 Academy Award for Best Makeup. Number 8. Angelica Houston was considered for the role of Delia Dietz in Beetlejuice, but the role ultimately went to Catherine O'Hara. Angelica Houston had to bow out due to an illness. Actress Catherine O'Hara initially declined Burton's offer for the part, but accepted after Burton flew out to meet with her and personally convince her to take it. O'Hara met, and eventually married, production designer Bo Welch while working on Beetlejuice. Number 7. Beetlejuice was almost titled Scared Sheetless. Warner Brothers executives didn't like the name Beetlejuice and pushed to have it changed to House Ghosts. Burton jokingly suggested Scared Sheetless as an alternate name and was appalled when Warner Brothers actually considered it. Number 6. Beetlejuice was named from a star in the Constellation or Ion. Beetlejuice is a red supergiant star there. The name choice adds an otherworldly and quirky dimension to the character fitting for the eccentric and mischievous nature of the character Beetlejuice in the film. Number 5. Harry Belafonte's song Deo, which is in the film's memorable song and dance number, was the final song played at the memorial for actor Glenn Shaddix, who played Otho in the film, who passed away in 2010. Number 4. The film is set in the fictional village of Winter River, Connecticut. All the interiors were shot in a studio in Los Angeles but the exteriors of the town of East Corinth, Vermont, were used to stand in for Winter River. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number three. Beetlejuice was adapted into a Broadway musical. The musical premiered at the National Theater in Washington, D.C. in October 2018 before opening on Broadway at the Winter Garden Theater in April 2019. It featured music and lyrics by Eddie Perfect, with a book by Scott Brown and Anthony King. The musical received positive reviews for its performances and staging, including nominations for several Tony Awards. Number 2. Despite its modest budget of $15 million, Beetlejuice proved to be a commercial success, earning $73.7 million domestically. It was one of the highest-grossing films of 1988, ranking as the 10th highest grossing film of that year. Number 1. Beetlejuice inspired an animated television series that aired from 1989 to 1991. The show was based on the 1988 film of the same name directed by Tim Burton. In the cartoon, Beetlejuice, a mischievous ghost, interacts with a young goth girl named Lydia Dietz in the fictional town of Peaceful Pines. The series had a more comedic and kid-friendly tone compared to the darker themes of the original film. It ran for 94 episodes. The show reimagined the relationship between Lydia and Beetlejuice, taking her on wild adventures in the Never World. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.